Alright, so in this video I'm going to show you how to calculate the standard deviation, the sample standard deviation. Uh, so here's the formula for uh, standard deviation. It's S is equal to uh, the sum of X minus X bar squared. X bar is the mean, the sample mean, divided by N minus 1. Okay. This is the formula, and yes, you can use this formula to calculate the standard deviation. But you notice these other two formulas down here. These are uh, the computation formula. We have these because it's just easier to calculate it using one of these formulas. Okay, but like I said, you can use this one, but it's just easier to do one of these. And you know, this is a this is a computation formula out of one textbook. This is a computation formula out of a different textbook. Okay, and I've looked in another textbook and it had a computation formula that was different than both of these. Okay, so you know, whatever formula your book has, that's the one I guess you should use. Uh, the main thing is just understanding how to read the formula. Okay, so you can see this formula is the sum of x squared minus 1 over n times the sum of x, all of that squared. Alright, and that's, you know, and over the n minus 1. And this one is n times the sum of x squared minus the sum of x, all of that squared, over n times n minus 1. Uh, which one do you use? It eh, doesn't really matter. Uh, this one, I'll probably use this one in the video. It really doesn't matter. Uh, the main thing is this sum of x squared and this sum of x, all of that squared. Okay, These are different. They're not the same thing. Okay, And I'll explain that more uh, when we get to work on the problem. I'll show you the difference between them. And then n, that's just how many data values you have. Okay. So let's come over here and look at our example. All right, and and let's go ahead and just write the formula down. So we'll have it over here. And and like I said, I'm going to use I'm going to use this one. Okay. So that's n times the sum of x squared minus the sum of x squared over n times n minus 1. Okay. All right. So here's my x values. Okay. There's my x values. So what I like to do is I just like to make put it in a column. Okay. And I'll write my x values. 23, 17, 15, 30, and 25. Okay, so there's my x values. Now, what, look what we need. We need the sum of x and we need the sum of x squared. Okay, so what's the difference in the two? Well, this one, the sum of x, that's where we add these values up. Okay and we'll get a some number whatever it sums up to be and then we square that number this the sum of x squared means you square this number square this one square this one square this one and square this one and then after you square each one of those then you add them up that's the difference okay so now we need the sum, well we've got our x column, well now we need an x squared column. So let's square each one of these and write it down here. So I've got 23 squared, that's 529, this is my x squared column. I've got 17 squared is 289, uh, 15 squared is 225. 30 squared is 900, 
and 25 squared is 625. Okay. All right. So now let's look at this. Let's go ahead and sum these up. Okay. So I'll punch all these into my calculator and I get the sum of x is equal to 110. And then I'll sum this column up, my x squared column. So the sum of x squared is equal to 2,568. Okay. And now all we do is we plug them into here. Well, I've got the sum of x. That gets plugged into here. The sum of x squared I plug in for this, and n, okay, okay, and then n is equal to one, two, three, four, five, okay. All right, so well, let's plug them in. So we get the standard deviation is the square root of n, which is five, times the sum of x squared. So the sum of x squared that's 2,568 minus the sum of x, which is 110, and then that's squared over 5 times 5 minus 1. And then we'll need to punch all of this into our calculator. So let's see what we get there. And you should get standard deviation is six point, uh, we'll round to two decimal places, 6.08. And actually all, des all the decimals, if you want to check to see if you got it, uh, 6.08276253. Okay. And, you know, like I said, that's using this formula. All right. If we use the other formula, uh, s equals the square root and that's the sum of x squared minus 1 over n times the sum of x all of that squared over n minus 1 okay all right so you know if we did this one you'll get the same answer it'll just look like this you'll get your standard deviation is the square root the sum of x squared, which is 2,568, minus 1 over n, 1 fifth, times 110 squared. So you plug the 110 in for the sum of x over 5 minus 1. All right. And you, you'll get the same answer. You'll get 6.08. Okay. You, you can probably see how the how this formula becomes this one I'll show you over here see if we take this this square root let me get rid of that if we take the square root of sum x squared minus 1 over n times the sum of x squared over n minus 1 well this is a fr this fraction here. Well, if we multiply each of these terms here by n, you see that? See, those n's there cancel out, and we're left with n sum of x squared minus the sum of x squared over n times n minus 1, which you can see is this formula. Okay. This, you know, th this formula here is nice because you're not going to deal with any uh, decimals in here, okay, unless your x values are decimals. But as far as, you know, if your x values are not decimals, then you're not going to deal with decimals here. Here you could deal with the decimal, see the 1 over n. That can give you a decimal here. So, you know, that's... Just something to look at, but you know, like I said, whatever your teacher tells you to use, use that. Uh, but both of them work the same. All right, so 
Hope this video helped. Uh, give me a like, subscribe, share, and thanks for watching.